Kel Kellogg of the Fish Sniffer here. This September I got to fish Don Pedro Reservoir with Master Guide Monty Smith of Gold Country Sport Fishing. We caught a bunch of rainbow trout. Since few anglers fish Don Pedro as well as Monty does, towards the end of the day I asked him to do a tutorial for us explaining how to fish the lake throughout the year. I'm Cal Kellogg in the Fish Dipper Magazine. Today we're out on beautiful Don Pedro Reservoir. Um, Don Pedro is a great cold water fishery. It's got king salmon, kokanee, rainbow trout, and brown trout. Today I'm fishing with one of my favorite guides, Bonnie Smith, the Gold Country Guide Service, and he's going to tell us about fishing Don Pedro Reservoir throughout the year. Tell us about it, Bonnie. Okay, Cal. Well, even though it's late September now, we can start back in January. January, February, basically we're going to target trout. Uh, it might be a little slow in January, February. That's the coldest months of the year for uh, water-wise. Fish, fish are lethargic. They will be in backs of coves, get in coves, shallow water, where the water will warm faster. As spring starts to come around, March and April, uh, fish will still be in the top 20, 20 feet of water. And we're going to target them basically with, with lead core rods. Uh, still fishing backs of coves. But by, by April, water's starting to warm, we're getting some nice weather. Fish are starting to move out towards into deeper water. And that's when we'll start running downriggers. The fish become very active. It's when the company show up. Rainbows are starting to get active. The king salmon are getting active. And it's just, April and May can be a phenomenal time of year to fish out here. I actually had the opportunity to fish with Monty out here this spring. We had, remember, we had great action on kings, rainbows, everything on the surface. I mean, it was outstanding. Yeah, in April, May, June, you can pretty much have triple headers. You know, Kobe, kings, and rainbows all in the same trip. Uh, an occasional brown. Uh, it's a phenomenal lake. As summer rolls around, then basically everybody is targeting Kobe, uh, but still, you can still target kings and the, the rainbows at the same time. The rainbows are a lot of fun, but once the kokanee show up, that's the majority of everybody wants to catch. You told me you got some big ones. We got some, big coat. We got some very nice kokanee. They were from 14 to over 18 inches. Wow. Uh, up to two pounds, some of them plus two pounds. Uh -huh. wow. Just a beautiful, beautiful wow. fish we haven't seen in five or six years. And we hated to see it go, but you know, like everything, all things got good, it's got to come to an end. And that kind of brings us to today. We're in late September, uh, a beautiful time of year, not much boat traffic, and we're targeting just rainbows. We have a lot of king salmon that uh, pretty much we let go. There's some beautiful king salmon in this reservoir that's caught every year. We've like caught you know, some five and six pounders this year. Right? There has some been caught bigger. Oh, yeah. Uh, so, Now's the time to, late in the year is now the time to catch some big fish. And like I said, not much boat traffic. And as the weather gets cooler, you'll see less and less. Just a lot of great fishermen out here. And that brings us in October, November. Uh -huh. And once that water really starts to cool, we'll start putting uh, lead core rods back out. All right. And following that bait fish, the bait fish will move from the center of the lake to the edges. Trout will move back into the shorelines, um, and it's just kind of a repeating process. And every year we have this phenomenal fishery. The past three or four years it's been great out here. It's some awesome fishing in the wintertime. I get to fish all over the state. Just just look at the sonar today. I mean, the fishing today has been phenomenal. We've got big balls of bait. We've got tons of rainbows in here. We're starting to see activity along the shoreline. This lake is is a few weeks. Um, depending on temperature from just absolutely going off. If somebody wants to go out in the water with you, Mike, how do they get a hold of you? Well, I got a couple of ways, Cal. Uh, I got a website, www.goldcountrysportfishing.com, and it's always updated. I even write a blog on there. I've got a phone number. It's 209-581-4734. That's my cell phone, and it's always with me. So you're welcome to call anytime and book a trip. We go out, we have a good time.
Monty's one of the few guys I have on speed dial on my phone. I don't even need to dial the number because I know if I want to go to the mother load and catch some fish, really experience the fishing down here at its best, I call Monty up and uh, it's always put me on great. We've always had pretty good trips. Absolutely. So.